they are as red as this beautiful vintage red pirate blue. this morning i'm enjoying this cooler fall air but i tell you it has got my eyes all irritated they are they as are red as this beautiful vintage red pirate's bow but i did want to talk to you a little bit about the things i got last saturday night at the auction so let's get to it first yes there was this beautiful red Pyrex bow that I fell in love with. Uh, I do believe it would have come in a set of three or four stacking bowls, and this would have been kind of like the the middle size of it. Uh, but yes, nice bright red. There is a little discoloration up around the edge i don't know that may wash off because i have not washed any of this stuff yet but i know people like pyrex i did pick up the pretty uh, italian i guess you would just call them salad plates or cabbage plates but i think i'm going to call them salad plates and that's going to be lettuce but yes they're beautifully done uh from italy and there was one two three four five there's ten of them so i'm not really sure how i want to do this uh if you don't mind give me your opinions of how how to do it should i try to sell all ten together or break them into two sets of five I'm pretty sure probably shipping-wise, breaking them into two sets of five would be the easier route. But I did want to show you that each one, they are hand-painted. So each one has, oh, just a little bit different in the design of the paint on them, of the cabbage, lettuce, whatever you want to call it, you know. And also from Italy was this beautiful, oh, excuse me, this is from Turkey, hand-painted uh, bowl. I can read nothing except handmade and turkey on it. It is very vintage and old. As you can see, there is some crazing under the glaze, but just very pretty done has the nice uh, shiny glaze on it just a real pretty bowl uh, i picked up these two cute birds first i thought they were salt and pepper shakers but apparently they're just metal figurine birds i don't even they're kind of lightweight so i'm not really even sure what kind of metal that is but uh two cute little little birds if anybody's seen any of these type of figurines and know what kind of metal that is please let me know i did get the mccoy wishing well pottery i love art glass and pottery so yeah i'm going to pick those up all the time i don't know what that is oh old wishing well Grand, Grand Amos something. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, it's USA Pottery. I'll have to look and see what that means. Grand A W I. Oh, maybe grant a wish to the old wishing well. Granted wish to the old wishing well. Figure that one out. Um, I picked up this really cute amber glass. I like amber glass too. These are banana split bowls. Yes. 
There's a set of four. So you can have your friends over and make them a wonderful ice cream banana split Sunday. I don't really feel like some rough spots in them, but uh, no, no cracks or chips. Then I picked up this little bowl that's got all the crystals in it. I'll sell the crystals individual of the bowl. It's just a piece of art glass bowl. Oop, dirty stuff in it. But uh, people always are needing these extra crystals uh, for chandeliers and stuff. Some get broken and I don't use them for arts and crafts. Hang them in the sun and let them work as a prism. So, yeah, those would be, be also two, four, six, eight, ten of them. Ten was the lucky number. I did pick up, let me get up over here so the light won't reflect in it, a couple of the watercolor pictures. like forest scenes I don't see a signature I may have to take the matting off to look for a signature but there were two of them same sort of scene on there let me turn it so that ceiling light doesn't reflect in it but yeah very pretty watercolors sets. I hope I can find a signature on. But that was basically it. It wasn't a big haul Saturday night, but I enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, <laughs>